So first was the bubble jets. And unless you're brand new to CNFTs, you heard about this and, uh, within, within, uh, what has it been four or five days since the launch? They've done 1.5 million in secondary volume. They, the project raised about 1.4 million ADA uh, for the, the initial sale at 120 ADA each. Um, I was one of the people who had an unfortunate experience. I know that Dirt Birds did a great job, like their partnership. Mm-hmm. The Mint was, there's pros and cons to the Mint, but yeah. I caught the link. I was, I think I started in like the first 1000 in the queue and, um, I kept watching it, but it didn't move. And so I was texting with my discord and I was like, are you guys refreshing the page? Are we not like, what what are we doing here? Like what's going on? Exactly. What I was happening in eight army was like, refresh. (laughs) (laughs) So they're like, it's cool to refresh. So I refreshed it and my number like went down in half and I was at 500 and I was like, okay, so that refreshing is okay. Mm -hmm. Um, get out of 400 down to 300. And then 300 stops and it's been a few minutes and i was like i'm guessing their window like their minting window is pretty large for letting people in so like 10 minutes goes by and i'm still at 300 and i'm just like i'm I'm gonna refresh because i've already done it four or five times i'm just gonna do the refresh i got kicked out of the queue Uh, so uh i missed out you know i due to my minting luck i probably would have got two commons but (laughs) i would have instantly flipped i mean the floor rocketed to 500 i mean that would have been just not even a question in my mind um, to, to, to sell. Um, but it, it's, I, am firmly a strong believer, but as you can see by the floor, I mean, if you would have sold at 500, you could scoop up, you know, two yeah. or three for, uh, yeah. for the same, you know, with your profits. Um, but yeah, I was a little bit burned by that and I was a little bit salty, I'll be honest. Uh, but you know, you, at the end of the day, you're like, Hey, you did your best. Uh, there's not really, you can't control it. Um, you just missed a good flipping opportunity. So, uh, were you able to get any? I did. So, um, first of all, big shout out to Dirt Birds and shout out to that minting um, process. And I, I you know, I, I'm sorry that you did not have a good experience, but I really appreciated that they were at least trying something very new, very different. And you know, there was I, I could see while it did not go as planned, there was a lot of effort that put into it. And I think. Given the, the, you know, the Dirtbirds put the tweet out with all the analytics, and I think given the amount of demand, you know, it, it wasn't a total disaster um, because I think that if they just did nothing, I feel like, well, number one, whenever I see projects that want to promise, yeah, the, the, this graph here, 7.2 million API calls over the 3.5 hours. I mean, that's pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, 11K people in the queue. And so if I think a project um, wants to build or not think, if a project says they're going to build a metaverse, I want to see them demonstrate, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like demonstrate, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, a competence. Anyway, <laughs> competence. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. I want to see, I want to see them demonstrate competence in everything that they do. So it's like if they can't get a mint right, then it, now I'm like, well, building a metaverse should be harder than getting right. It. Yeah, right. You know? So um, I actually really appreciate that how it went, and and um, I had two windows open with two different wallets, and I actually managed to get six, but I was I was there riding the um, the roller coaster of like refreshing, <laughs> not refreshing. You know, it's like. <laughs> And someone someone posted in Ada Army. Shout out to them. I'm sorry, I can't remember who posted it, but like a way to to go into the um the screen and um, you press some things and it shows like where you actually are in the queue, not not on the actual GUI that oh, you're I seeing. See. And like yeah, um, so that was cool. So I'm like, okay, I know I'm in my spot. So yeah, it was a bit, little bit of a roller coaster. And I think the um, I don't know how much to touch. So like Cornucopia is is probably my most bullish um metaverse so i actually only sold two i think it was two two maybe three i sold my commons and i'm just holding the rest because i want to hold some metaverse stuff and i liquidated all my pavia so now i'm kind of banking on this is not financial advice you know it could be i've been wrong about many things so yeah what i think what i like about them is you know they're doxed yep um the team seems very bona fide and i think what they're missing though is um they're missing some of that more down-to-earth nft collector because i was very disappointed in the 
diversity of the actual um, bubble jets. Like, yep. Yep. I would have liked to have seen them all be like unique, to be honest with you. And I don't think that would have even costed them a ton more to implement. Um, so I was very disappointed. You mean unique as in the common had a certain layout and style, the uncommons had yeah. a certain, and you know. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Instead that. of basically a color change. Exactly. Yeah. The color change was, was uh, kind of lame, um, a bit underwhelming. So I was disappointed in that. Um, but I'm still. For me, this is still what I view as probably the most likely to actually deliver. And I think what happened with that common thing is that they don't have, maybe I'm wrong, but what it says to me is that there isn't a collector on that team. There isn't someone who's addicted to NFTs and knows like what people want. Because that's like a normal game developer type um, thing to implement, I think. that, that yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah. I mean, um, very interesting. I like that they did them in differently. I like cornucopias and I'm going to hold my four. And um, the other thing, you know, we could get into is the timing. Even if you want to flip, you mentioned a 500 yeah. eight floor and Cardano man was saying this on the space earlier. I mean, it is so true. And I've always said that the best time to flip, if you if you want to flip is during the mint, the prices go crazy. And then yeah. it always comes back down. I mean, it's probably some edge cases, but 99 percent of the time it's like during the mint it's crazy not e when it, not everyone has minted they go crazy yeah and then it just so, am i gonna get mine or i might as well just yeah. get one on secondary you exactly. know and, and secure it yeah yeah no. exactly so um so there it, in the description there's lots of links on this um so you can you know go to their link tree they have a, an account for every single social media platform uh i pulled the dirt birds tweet here so you can see some of the statistics from i mean if you look at it by the numbers taking my personal experience out of the way, like this is a step in the right direction in terms of how mints should go in the future, as you were already saying. So if I look objectively, I can say only 86 failed transactions out of all of that activity is, is impressive yeah. and, and should be applauded. Yeah. Um, there was also a video that Rob did just explaining the first mint and some takeaways from it. So th that link is also in the description. So if you want to go kind of a deep dive into that entire experience and um, the the brand new thing that they have just they just tweeted out right before we went live is another NFT mint. And what this looks like is another vehicle. Now, I am not a super big uh I'm in their discord, but I'm not like checking every single announcement. You know, we all have those discords. We're, all, yeah. we're already in almost 200. Probably <laughs> we're almost hitting the discord limit. If you're yeah. deep into CNFTs, um, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little curious. They're doing a second vehicle because the way that as a interested yet, not like fully committed person in the cornucopias, I thought the bubble jet was like the vehicle. And maybe that was naive of me to think like that would be your transportation. So to see these, it's like, if I would have minted one and been like, okay, I'm set for the game. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, this thing almost looks cooler or better. Now <laughs> yeah. I got to, you know, spend okay. more ADA to get this like sprinter thing. Um, I, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, I, I kind of agree with you. Um, now, you know, you mentioned being in many Discord. I'm in the same situation where I'm not actually following this project very closely at all. And that's partly because patience is the key. And the patience is the key, especially for a metaverse. Like, I just know that it's so far away. So I'm very surprised that this is coming quite soon. But if it was announced, then that's more on me. I didn't do my research. I didn't know right. what I was getting into. So do you know if it was been around for a while? or What do you mean? Like, knowing that this drop was happening? Uh, the, the only, I just saw it at seven 30 Eastern okay. time. Yeah. So that's all, that's the, that's all I've seen. Yeah. I think that again, if you have someone who collects NFTs, what do people always, it's, it's kind of like a given. You always try to reward the OG collection, right? You always look after the loyalty. I mean, it's, it's just the unspoken rule. So for them to do this, they need to make sure that whoever participated in that first bubble jet mint get some sort of rewards. Um, I, I think I think that that would be the right thing to do. And I think that if they don't, it just shows again that lack of touch with the sort of 
NFT type collector, not gamer. This is different to, you know, if you're a gamer, there's an update to a game. You're like, cool. And you, you, if you if it's a pay update or whatever, you pay it. You're like excited. Yeah. There's an update. But in NFTs, you gotta you gotta be considerate of the the um, scarcity and value and oh, there's so many more things to consider. It's not always a good thing. If if Space Buds released another 10k on, I know it's probably a locked policy. But if they, you know, in whatever, in theory, I think they're planning to do something. But if they released it on the same policy ID, oh, I see. Made the collection 20k, I'd be upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in the gaming world, that's like a good thing. So. I just think there's a possibly a disconnect here. And I, what I would like to see is them to hire somebody who's an ambassador, uh, maybe a little bit of an advisor to their project, someone who jumps in Twitter spaces, gets feedback from the community, loves NFTs, loves collecting, who can then advise the team and say, hey, you know, we want to see more than just a color change. We, you know, And this is what people want from the community. That's what I think would be a very good step. And I'm always surprised that these these are metaverse projects because they're raising so much capital and so much money. And I feel like there's, there's projects doing a lot less who have those roles. Yeah. It doesn't always make it's, it. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So these look great. I hope that there is, you know, if they're going to go with the same tiers, common, uncommon, mythic, rarity, whatever, um, you know, if, if our opinions are matter at all, uh, if you're watching, <laughs> um, I know he's watched a couple of my videos, but, Oh, It'd be great go. to see color changes. It'd be great to see, you know, don't make it, you don't have to make a brand new model, but you know, a different headlight or a different fender or a different, you know, whatever, you know, kind of handlebars, whatever, uh, that, that can go a long way to, to I mean, what, what do people with generative art projects do? Like chilled Kongs was n well known for like having a crazy amount of traits, you know, back in December or, you know, so that's, that's where people are like, this is my speeder or this is my bubble jet. It's not just, oh, you have the red bubble jet or you have yeah. the pink bubble jet. Yeah. Um, anyways. Okay. The good yeah, news is that can be rectified, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, for sure. Always put an update out. Customization. I mean, yeah, we'll see.